If you find yourself always applying the same template, opening the same layout, opening the same chart and so forth, you might want to consider actually creating a shortcut to those. To create a shortcut, down here at the bottom of your screen, you've got a number of icons that are already loaded here. And these are all shortcuts to different things. And you can create a shortcut to just about anything that you can imagine inside the program. To create your own shortcut, what you do is just right click down here at the bottom, go into Custom Toolbar Properties, and then what you're going to do is you're going to create your own by clicking on the New button over here on the right hand side. And the toughest part about creating the shortcut is just figuring out where your charts and templates and so forth are actually stored. To find them, just click on the Browse button. And if you installed your program by all the defaults, you should have installed your program underneath your C drive, Program Files, and then Equus. So let me show you that again. That's C, Program Files, and then Equus. And then underneath that, you'll have a folder there called Metastock. And if you double click on that, you'll find one more folder underneath that called Charts. The toughest thing is figuring out where all these files are located. And again, just to recap, should be under your C, Program Files, Equus. And underneath Equus, you're going to look underneath Metastock and then Charts. And when you do that, you'll see that down here at the bottom of your window, Files of Type, you'll be able to select the type of files that you're interested in creating a shortcut to, whether you want to create a shortcut to a template, a layout, or a chart. In this example, we're going to choose templates, and we're going to choose this first one that I have up here at the top called my Next Step Multiple Chart Template. I'll select that and click on Open, click on the Next button, and then what you need to do is just identify what icon you want to have show up down here at the bottom of your screen. So for example, I'll choose the push pin, click on the next button, click on the finish button, and then finally click on OK. So now down at the bottom of my screen you'll see that I have a push pin icon and if I put my pointer over it I'll also get a prompt telling me what template is associated with that icon. And to apply it to the chart just click on that icon and it'll open it up with whatever template that you saved it with. So I hope you found this to be helpful and for more Metastock training please visit our website at www.learnmetastock.com or email us at admin at Thank you very much.